To me, the most important values in life have to do with relationships with people, getting involved with the, with the patient and you know, trying to help them, and letting you be part of their life in terms of what their needs are. And I think the, the difference in, in, in really being a skilled therapist is meeting the needs of the person and not your ego in terms of everything you can do, but more in terms of you know, what does the person need from your toolbox to help them and how you can match that together and, and then forming this relationship and making people better really makes me happy as a person. I got into physical therapy while I was in, in college. I had started off uh, with different major. Uh, they had teach-ins uh, going on with different professions. It happened to go to the one on physical therapy and I was very interested uh, by it. I had been very active in sports as a youth. I played football, I wrestled, I played lacrosse, and did some uh, martial arts. And uh, the physical therapy just really interested me as a way to go for a career. When people get a new concept and they can actually perform the technique, um, you know, with having 41 years of experience, I have thousands of hours of continuing education, many different teachers that I've had over the years. And I found what was frustrating sometimes is if you didn't quite get the concept or the, or the technique quite right, or if you got it, but your partner that you were working with at the time didn't get it. Uh, I felt that a, a lot of other places didn't really try to make sure that everybody could do the technique. And with the smaller class sizes that we have with hands-on seminars, um, I try and make sure that every student really gets the techniques and can apply them. So I know that the, the day after the course, that they'll be good to go and actually be able to start helping their patients you know, immediately. There's no real dogma with this. Um, a lot of other um, techniques, uh, things, the, it's kind of like you do it our way or the highway. You, know, you have to do exactly the way they tell you to do it um, versus you know, taking a course where you look at something and saying, okay, you now understand the anatomy, you understand the technique, and then you can kind of change it based on different person's needs. Uh, probably one of my biggest fas passions is photography. And I've been taking photographs uh, for uh, over 40 years. I've always gotten a lot of kudos from my friends and family about the, the quality of my work. And I also love sailing with friends. I've been lucky enough to have a couple of friends that have had sailboats and I've uh, been able to take some long trips. Uh, longest one uh, was many years ago, but uh, we sailed from Connecticut all the way up to Maine and back over a couple of weeks. And I've done the around Long Island regatta race. And uh, you know, I've had some, some other long distance sailing I've done with friends and uh, kind of felt like I was probably a sailor in another life. The first time I ever got on a sailboat, I knew too much about it. And my friends were like, where'd you, where'd you learn that from? And I said, I don't know. To learn more about hands-on seminars, please visit www.handsonseminars.com or call 1-888-767-5003. Hands-on Seminars, the leader in manual therapy continuing education.